hello mr jairaj and i want to begin this conversation by asking you how have you managed to do it for so long because i just saw hasyam and i was blown away i mean to pack so much into 75 minutes how do you what is the secret of what you do <laughs> about hasyam or other films generally this long career that you had <laughs> and and like you know usually directors you know dry up after some time you know they they uh, they kind of may have a 10 years or something of a good good run and then they but how do you how have you kept going like this it's amazing mm-hmm. hasyam is yeah because i like cinema is that it that's the answer <laughs> yeah i like cinema and i am thinking about cinema okay. and dreaming cinema still now i am just waiting to do my first film okay okay <laughs> so when you uh, when you decided on the rasa of uh, of hasyam uh, the first thing this is the navarasa thing we're talking about the first thing that does not come to mind is death you know when you talk about hasyam right how did that that combination come about like i want to make the, the rasa is hasyam but my subject is death yeah that's uh, that's from 2000 onwards i started kairunam that's pathos kairunam bebelsam albudam raudram like that yeah. and uh, i was i was trying to avoid hasyam because uh, it's quite difficult <laughs> right it's quite diff- jona because collapsive humor is the you know a lot of a different different pattern of humor is the so in which pattern i have to stick it on that was my you know that was a question always in my the uh, humor of enlightenment because sometimes maybe you know that may be the ultimate humor because always a smile on your face because uh, <laughs> after coming to know, know the secret of wisdom but i thought something else has to come so i was waiting for that and uh, at last you know all of a sudden i i got a different point from uh, third perspective in the humor so i was thinking about black humor because people the audience laughing all the time but they are talking about dead body and death and all kind of thing so that is the beautiful thing, trying to say something humorously but at the same time there's a different meaning in it in the philosophical dimension is the that was the moment i you know i started you now focusing on this asim and uh, okay like this right so when uh, one of the, the the recurring jokes in the movie even though it is not technically a joke is that our protagonist is somebody who's a what his daughter calls a dead body agent like he procures cadavers for medical schools so there is this wonderful philosophical question there because when we die why waste our bodies you know like why do we want to just give it to somebody to grieve and then uh, burn it or bury it there is in fact this dialogue where he says your body will rot and and you know that kind of stuff instead why not make it useful for other people to cure the dying right that's a question that runs throughout the film except that you don't pose it explicitly it's almost like a subtext was that important to you to address no that was not the important point but a lot of different different points are there through humor this kind of uh, questions arising right because during you know uh, conversation a lot of things are you know asking yourself that's the main point right yeah, about you know one point is this like you know uh, after the death because you know, when uh, my childhood i used to go for this medical exhibitions when i was a kid so i have seen a lot of uh, you know human uh, part parts are uh, they put in the bottles and all kind of thing and but one cadaver on a table black 
body of a human being. So I was scared, totally scared. And I was always thinking about if that particular human being who is a cadaver, who is just watching, somebody is taking his heart and somebody is taking his uh, liver and talking, you know, this is his, this is heart and, and he's conscious if, you know, that was the moment I was thinking about the monologue of a cadaver. That was the first thought. Then I came back, but that said it'll be crude because, you know, that's obvious, you know, we can maybe sometimes, uh, we can say a story like that, but at the same time, where is the humor in it? So I came back to the, a different perspective, like a cadaver agent, one who is, you know, how, how can I, uh, you know, because uh, uh, in Kerala especially, a lot of medical colleges, almost all private medical colleges, they need cadaver, more around 600 cadavers needed for private medical colleges alone, not for the uh, government medical. They are they are having some possibility to get this uh, body and all kind of things. Colleges are getting it. So there should be someone to sell him because you know arrange this or selling this or manipulating all kind of things. So I contacted to a doctor of one of my friend and uh, he told me that that's a very funny story. <laughs> There are a lot of agents like that. In every medical college, there will be agents. So I was just trying to catch up one. And I came to know some, you know, some kind of uh, justice. And I just placed on a very remote place where the trains are passing because that's a very favorite location of mine. It's quite near to my house. Two tunnels, in between two tunnels. There's a slum area. So in my childhood, there also in my childhood, I used to travel through this tunnel to the railway station, Kotem. So I just, uh, that time it was meter gauge and it was steam engine. And uh, it came to broad gauge, again to broad, you know, to double line like that. It's all, almost like my growth, it's also expanding. But still that uh, slum area is still there. So the, uh, the people and the uh, kids playing there on the railway track and all kind of visuals, it was in my mind. So I thought of making a movie on that particular area alone. So now this is the time to explore or we can combine together because that uh, train is a symbol of death. That's what I, 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 I thought because and his uh, way to his house also through the tunnel and uh, that black and the light, darkness and light, and all, everything is linked. That house is also linked with that particular area. And uh, so everything combined, so happened. So that was the triggering point of mine. It's a lot of things because as, as I said, from the childhood, a lot of memories from the medical college, whatever, and the train and the location, and it was there somewhere. But while I am trying to say one story through this particular viewpoint, so this all visuals came to me and uh, combined formation of that expression. Uh, it's interesting that you say that the train is a symbol for death because when I saw the film, it occurred like, it, for me, it seemed like the journey of life, you know, it's like from start to finish because the train takes you from one place to another and and similarly you kind of life is between two points so but but that's that that's that's a recurring motif and in fact when uh when a crucial event happens i'm not going to reveal that you show the entire passage of a train from yeah. the time it starts till the time it it you know the last compartment uh goes out it's almost like an entire life has kind of uh kind of past in front of your eyes and that's just beautiful tell me how do you think of when when you sit down to write a movie do you do visuals come first to you yeah sometimes sometimes uh, you know uh, one photograph is enough for me to make a movie because my um, i think uh, in during during the time 96 you know, there was a film called Deshaarna. 
yeah. journey to vista that is about, I, I had a visual they have a photograph in the newspaper kanji kamagodi mm. madadipati is that was the moment a boy taken to a monastery that's a, because that's a beautiful visual of a boy with this in all his innocence on his face and with the uh, stress and that you know then the stick is holding so i was thinking about that particular face and his innocence and his missings and his childhood friends and uh, the unknown maybe the height of knowledge or something like that. so that was the inspiration to make a movie like that in during hotel hotel uh, i have seen a photograph on a uh, newspaper like a boy in gohati uh, during flood he was throwing his you know uh, with all his um, uh, that's a raft small raft temporary raft and he's throwing with his gods and all kind of thing that was a very pricking visual of a boy so that was the moment i decided to club with wanga and uh, that boy to the backwaters of kerala here maybe that's not the real reason because here the thought came first okay because that kadaver i think kadaver it was that's also visual but still yeah you know that kadaver on a table black kadaver on a medical college table was the childhood visual was the stuck my mind it was scared all the time uh, all the time i was scared about that particular uh, you know that vision and uh, maybe in the midnight i used to scream thinking about that and but now it's a humor right right it's the feel of uh, hasyam yeah, yeah like you know how can we you know how can we sell and we can we stitch together and uh, okay of course i was thinking about a family a man who is selling this body or cadaver and his family all they are all waiting for the moment yeah to sell and uh, you know enjoy the moment and the grandfather and they are waiting for the grandfather's death also so everything according to their viewpoint everything is for money and maybe there are people like that yeah and but the but the best thing about the film i mean there are so many fantastic things about the film but what i really liked is that there is no i mean usually when such a character is shown uh they might be shown as a shady character you know but here everybody is nice you know even when when the people come up to put that pandal in his house and they go away because the dad is not dead he still gives them some money you know like yeah, right. he's a he's a really nice guy it's not like that he's a like of course he is doing a shady job but by nature he's a nice guy and and everybody in this movie almost everyone is there is no like easy way to say they are they are black or white you know everyone is in that lovely like 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 good people but who are forced to do certain things for the sake of uh, uh uh you know like like for a living and this extends right to the last scene when there is a person who has the change of heart uh you know kind of thing so was that your plan from the beginning that that you would not make anybody uh like overly like like you saw this man as a good man is that right from the beginning yeah i i think uh, i was trying to say one uh, situation not as even not even a story a portion of his life right and uh, but so all people joining together they are all good people even that yeah. process should get yeah. to know yeah. she is yeah. also very nice character yeah she comes back and, and gives the money yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah and she is giving an idea also so that's a beautiful idea yeah i am just uh, i'm scared of thinking that idea because someone will st- you know steal that idea and make the same thing <laughs> a lot of chances are there yeah because a lot of all the old age homes are there there are chances maybe is that that maybe the reason uh, you know sometimes after seeing the film you can think like that also yeah very yeah. easy possibility to get bodies yeah yeah so uh, because i was just thinking about a, a human being's life or a particular person's life and cross-section of his life. I, was, I never intended to do, you know, make to positive, all the characters positive, nothing like that. 
but still everyone uh, part they are all part yeah, of his yeah. life even uh, i think may uh, you may be noticed that uh, the person one who is uh, you know scolding him by the time asking the prostitute's house is is also there in the house at the last moment yeah yeah, yeah. that kind of links are the small small links so it's yeah. a very small area so quite you know uh, you know they know each other sometimes and uh, even that lady while that prostitute character is coming to his house in search of she is coming going with her i will show you the house you know that's a connection connection it's quite easy we can say like you know that is house that's quite easy she can just point yeah, out yeah yeah but she said i will come with you and uh, uh, a lot of links are there yeah all are good even that uh, you mean uh, she is a good character yes right yeah yeah so she's a good a very good character because he's looking after his mother yeah and yeah. Uh, you know uh, two three scenes but with a lot of fun is there yeah and uh, and I, no what i'm saying is that's what's really great because on the one hand shashi knows what it is to live like with an old person who's about to die but on the other hand he's also helping uh, you know to to you know steal bodies so it's like both both sides are there that's what's mm. that's what's lovely about this and uh, he's telling shashi is telling him like i am not a person like you to sell my mother Yeah, yeah, like that. No, mother's body or something like that. You know? yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm different from you. But at the same time, he's doing, he's supporting him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a when when you get a, a when you get a story and a premise like this. How difficult is it to maintain that balance just right? Because if you go a little bit like this, it could become tasteless. it could become like oh my god this is like so disgusting you know what they're doing how, how how difficult was that to write that tone the tone is so important in this movie yeah tone once we are fixing the tone and backdrop and the pace pace is the thing has to come from our mind you know how how can we uh, tell this story i'm always thinking about while uh, you know narrate the story what should be the pace of even the shots and cut you know edit and everything is uh, very much you know contributing the total feel of the movie and uh, the tone here the presence of you know black and uh, uh, the light both are the darkness and light and uh, that's what in the beginning we are showing the train sound and from the to the darkness that glare is coming to the screen and almost all the sequences we are linked with the passage of train and uh, total mood is almost like gray but still some portions we can feel the presence of black also that black yeah. but green green is also there but the gray the factor of gray is there all the time and uh, most of the time i used to you know, once a story forming in your mind sometimes the beginning and end will come automatically sometimes the end is coming in the beginning and uh, what is the first thing that's very important all the time i'm thinking that was the difficult part also what's the first thing and uh, of course once you start once you start writing i think i just want only a few days needed to write a script maybe less than 3 4 days really for this no for this and uh, previously for a tale and all kind of lot of uh, scripts i wrote and uh, for me once the idea and uh, you know maybe like points i write on some sequences almost the linking sequences once i can narrate the things then it will be very easy and all imagery is like you know all elements sometimes it will all will come by during the time of writing only elements small small uh, supports from the uh, unknown place it's coming up. i'm always thinking about the the presence of god in between the paper and the pen that space so by the time we are writing a script or story the lot of unknown things which is not even yeah. we even dream of. uh this coming all of a sudden from somewhere if you are focusing that much 
salt coming through the pen. So we are just a conductor. That's what I'm always thinking about. From somewhere it's coming through you to the paper. So that may be very much linked with our best parts we experienced in the life and uh, the observations and uh, maybe surroundings also supporting you to write this. Most of the time, how uh, I, I just want to finish it early at the earliest. That's the main mood of my while writing. Almost all the early mornings I used to write the script. And uh, mostly it will take three, four days to write wow. a script. <laughs> Now, uh, I want to ask you about uh, today, a lot of lot of independent filmmakers are trying to uh, see where best to premiere their film. Now, you've had Otal in the Berlin Film Festival. Uh, you've also had uh, uh, this movie at the International Film Festival of Kerala. Is, is there a, like, what is your advice to young filmmakers who are trying to get into the festival circuit? Festival circuit, I always attempt for cans. I, every year I used to make a movie and send for cans because that's ultimate. That's my dream. <laughs> I never entered. Even this time also, after this, Asim also, I finished one movie. I'm trying going to send that movie, you know, uh, maybe one, next week I will send that to cans. But that's my determination. I will enter, I am sure. <laughs> And uh, I keep on trying for that. The first cans and the next Toronto, like that, we are approaching for the festivals like that. Sometimes we'll go to Berlin or, or somewhere, but never enter to cans. But I always prefer the best top. And even for the youngsters, I can say one thing money is not needed for a movie. You, whenever you dream something, the all determination you write keep on writing and write, write, write. Then when you feel this is up, this is the time to explore, you start shooting. Right. I, uh, they will say, I don't know money. Oh, no, you go ahead. It will come. The camera will come. The actor will come. Everything will happen. So you can finish at the earliest. If there is money involved, there will be a lot of limitations. But how do you, how do you, what, I mean, again, if, 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 again, an advice question. Today, the thing is, it's become like almost like so many uh, independent filmmakers are coming up because of the availability of technology compared to even 10 years ago, right? Supposing somebody asks you, how do I set myself apart from all these other filmmakers? What is the, the key to that? Is it the script? Is it the presentation? How would you advise them? Is it like script? Absolutely script, script, script. Right. You can say any story, even even narrated one also, you can say again with a different perspective in a different script. So the ultimate thing is screenplay. You must be different from others. That's the only thing. I just want to advise youngsters. A lot of filmmakers are, uh, filmmakers are there and uh, the, your presence is not needed. But if you are there, you must be different. Right. Like uh, Jonathan Livingston Seagal, I used to tell my youngsters, you fly differently. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so finally, I have to talk about your last shot, which is incredibly beautiful in two ways. One is it's just physically so beautiful because you have that lovely tree, the branch, the river, and, the, and then at the corner, there's the sun. So even as an aesthetically thing, it's beautiful, but even emotionally, philosophically, it's, there is so much life in that frame, you know? Uh, there is so much of, of nature and beauty and life in that frame. And you're ending a movie about death with this wonderful affirmation of life. Is that how you originally wanted to end the movie? You know, especially for this film, I, that's the only shot where uh, that uh, particular nature is glorified. As I said, a lot of 
other places yeah dark black and gray all kind of things are here the lot of positive feel back you know backlight is the green yeah, is yeah. the glitter is the and the laughter is the kids are running and that's a hope yeah hope the laughter is the only hope right the playfulness is the only hope yeah anyway yeah. you will die you will die tomorrow yeah so you laugh <laughs> that's a humor <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's hasyam and uh, and thank you very very much for this movie i do hope that uh, you uh, get into can very soon and that uh, you that is another on your list of many many achievements because it is incredible for uh, to see a director making such good movies for such a long time and uh, uh, without losing that energy and enthusiasm and 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 and, and to I mean, like I said earlier, one of the most amazing things is how how much is packed into just seventy five minutes. It's like an entire life is is packed into just like one hour and fifteen minutes. So, hats off and thanks again for this wonderful film. Thanks a lot. Thank thanks you. for the energy. Thanks for the support. Nice Thank questions. You. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir.